Hey guys, how is everybody doing? Okay, I'm going to skip the introduction and get straight to the point. Good morning, good morning, good morning everybody. How is everybody doing? Okay, so this video today is inspired by a very famous question that is always popping up in my inbox. A lot of sisters and some brothers have been asking me this one question. Okay, and I'm going to tell you guys what it is. The question is, Sister Malika, where do you get the energy to work out every day? Right? That's the question. That is like the most famous question that I've been asked as of lately. Because I have been working out. I've always been working out. But I haven't always been posting my videos right so as of lately i've been posting my work some of my workout videos i don't always have the time to do it but um so you guys have seen the videos some of them and you know i guess you are inspired and you have been asking me where do i get the energy to work out okay so i currently i work out anywhere between five to six days a week okay you do need some time to rest the body needs time to recuperate and rest make sure you're getting a lot of rest okay so I work out quite a lot all right and I do um, I do different things in the gym um, sometimes I go jogging sometimes I'm riding my bike um, sometimes I'm in the gym I'm doing CrossFit I'm doing weight training i'm doing floor exercise sit-ups you know um stuff like that um doing just about anything in the gym that i can do i'm doing it and i yes i do lift weights i lift weights in the gym um sometimes my husband trained me and sometimes he's too busy i train myself okay so yeah i am bursting with energy i am bursting with energy <laughs> And after this video, I'm actually going to the gym. But, um, so I want to talk to you guys about that. So, so many people have questions, um, about how to get some energy going. The sisters are saying that they're struggling with iron deficiency, which is one of the things that we're going to talk about today. Iron deficiency. Um, they're struggling with sleeping. They can't sleep. They can't sleep at night. Um, or they're just tired all the time. They're just fatigued all the time, all right? So let me explain this quickly to you guys, okay? One of the reasons... Now, a lot of people struggle with depression and anxiety. And obviously, there are different causes of that. It could be some trauma that happened to you. And one of the... Uh, also, one of the main cause is a, a nutrient deficiency, a lack of nutrients in the body that a lot of people don't talk about, okay? So we're going to talk about that today. I cannot help you with your trauma because I am not a clinical psychologist, okay? But I can help you with your nutrient deficiency, which is what I'm going to focus on right now. So I don't know what is causing your depression or anxiety or your lack of sleep or whatever it is. Now, I can sit down and talk to you and we can try and figure it out, right? But <clears throat> for the sisters who are saying that they're struggling with iron deficiency, they are struggling with anemia. You're severely anemic, right? You're eating, especially sisters that are eating a lot of ice, a lot of sister who struggle with anemia eats a lot of ice, right? Okay, you see this right here? That's sea moss. Sea moss is loaded with iron, okay? There it is, right there. That's sea moss, right? I consume sea moss at least four to five times a week. I am constantly consuming sea moss because sea moss has so many benefits. I don't know which one of these things that I take on a regular basis, that I do on a regular basis, give me all the energy that I have. It may have it may very well be everything that I'm doing because I believe in um balance, right? And you have to do everything in balance. There is no one thing that's gonna help you. You have to combine different things that is going to work on the different areas of your body to help, 
Okay. So now the first thing that I would recommend for anybody that's struggling with energy problem is to do a cleanse, right? You see that right there? That's the parasite cleanse. That's my first suggestion. Do a cleanse, a detox. Get all of the nasty clogging stuff out of your system. All of the waste, all of the crap that is weighing you down. All of those things that are weighing you down and making you tired and have no energy. Do a cleanse. It doesn't have to be the parasite cleanse. Just do a cleanse. Do a cleanse and get rid of all the crap, okay? And then the sea moss. You want stuff like that. All right, let's move on. I'm trying to make this very quick. Now, let's stay on the sea moss for a second. Magnesium. Can we talk about magnesium, guys? Magnesium and iron. We're going to talk about magnesium and iron and um, zinc as well, right? Those three things we're going to talk about briefly. So one of the benefits of, of magnesium, which I'm going to talk to you about right now, right, is it is extremely beneficial to the cardiovascular system and the and the respiratory system i want you guys to listen to me okay which is why i consume cmos on a regular basis and which is why because you, you, if your cardiovascular system isn't functioning well then you ain't gonna have no uh all that uh you know strength to go out and get up and go exercise right so you need to keep the cardiovascular system healthy magnesium is one of the best things for the cardiovascular system which is why i take cmos okay um the respiratory system if you if you're having problem breathing hello then you ain't gonna be out there exercising you need to be able to breathe, all right? And if you have a, a, a asthma, you should be on CMOS as well, okay? Um, for those of you who are having issues with premenstrual issue, sisters, you're on your period, and you get those premenstrual uh, symptoms, CMOS. This helps with premenstrual um, issues because it has a lot of the minerals in here that eliminate all of that problem, Okay? If you are struggling with anxiety and depression, again, a lot of the minerals in CMOS helps with that, okay? Um, this also helps for people who are struggling with diabetes, type 1 and type 2, because it helps to regulate blood sugar. The magnesium in CMOS helps to regulate blood sugar, okay? I want you guys to follow me now. The magnesium... And CMOS also help to promote a healthy heart, okay? Yes, it promote healthy heart, all right? The CMOS also helps with inflammation, inflammation. So for those of you struggling with arthritis, arthritis, hello, issues with arthritis and all type of stuff going on in your system, this is going to help you because magnesium is very beneficial for our people with arthritis, okay? All right. And if you have arthritis, you can be out here exercising, right? Hello? Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, this also is very beneficial for those of you who struggle with headache issue, a lot of people with headache problem have something else going on in the system. All right. Um, PMS, PMS. This is going to help you with PMS because magnesium is very beneficial for women struggling with PMS. Okay. Premenstrual symptoms. All right. A lot of zinc is in CMOS as well. And CMOS the zinc in CMOS is extremely critical for the development and function of the immune cells, okay? The immune cells. Let's talk about iodine. CMOS is extremely high in iodine, natural iodine. And we all know, well, maybe not all of us, but some of us know, that if you're struggling with thyroid problems, if you're struggling with thyroid issues, iodine is extremely beneficial for people who are struggling with their thyroid. Your, your thyroids are not functioning well. 
you should be CMOS right here has natural iodine that helps to regulate your thyroid function okay so you should be consuming CMOS to help you to regulate your thyroid function very 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 important and another thing which I'm going to show right here iron CMOS is loaded with iron, but I'm going to say this, right? The reason I'm showing you guys this right here is this. Some sisters and brothers as well, but some sisters, your iron is so low, right? You're struggling with anemia so bad that a lot of the times a doctor is offering to give you an iron transfusion, right? Now, before you do that, what I'm going to tell you to do is you want to get this right here, right? This right here. You want to get this bottle. It's called Floridix Herb and Iron. You want to get this bottle right here, and you want to get you some sea moss. And you want to go on a 90-day protocol, meaning you want to get up every day and take a glass of this, right? The sea moss. And then a cap full of this in the morning. And a cap full of this at night before you go to bed. So twice a day, once or twice a day with this. Now this is if you're extremely anemic and you want to build up your iron back up to its normal level. Then you want to go and do this protocol, right? CMOS once or twice a day, right? And this iron right here, once that capsule right there, once in the morning. And once at night before you go to bed okay there you go and in 90 days you're gonna go back to your doctor and have them do that blood test and check your iron again and I guarantee you you're gonna come back to this video and thank me later okay you're welcome <laughs> you are welcome all right let's move on these two things are very good for low iron sisters that are struggling with anemia okay I hope you guys are listening all right. Like I said, do a cleanse and take some sea moss. The energy will go through the roof. All right. And make sure you're getting enough iron. Now, let's move on to this right here. Heart. If your heart is not functioning well, you're going to have problem. You're going to have problems. OK, you ain't going to be out there exercising if your heart, you're having heart problem. OK, so you need to take care of the heart. And what I'm showing you guys are things that I personally do every day to make sure that I have enough energy to get up and exercise. Everything in front of me, right, is what I'm showing you, what I do on a regular basis to make sure that I have enough energy to get up and go. I do this. My husband do these things regularly, every day, okay? So the heart... I take this on a regular basis. Now, I don't usually take these every single day because these are a lot. So I alternate, okay? I alternate between these things. CMOS, I love, but I don't take it every single day now, okay? I would take it maybe four or five days a week, okay? The iron, my iron levels are good, but I might take this maybe two to three times a week in, in, in conjunction with the CMOS, all right? Um, the heart, I take this probably four times a week, but that's just me. I have no problem with my heart. You see, I'm taking these things for maintenance and making sure that I'm able to get up and go. Now look at this right here. Circulation. If you're having issues with circulation, then you're going to have problems getting up and going to exercise, right? You got to make sure that the body is, is, is having enough circulation. The blood is circulating properly. So you got to take care of the circulatory system, guys. All right? There you go. You need some of that. Okay? This right here. Liver. Now, let me explain why I have the liver formula in front of me and why I take liver formula, okay? Your liver is responsible for the removal of a lot of the toxins that goes into your body. 
And if your liver is stagnated, it is not going to function well to get rid of those toxins. It is not going to function well to eliminate the crap that is coming in the system. So you got to keep the liver healthy by putting some natural herb. This is a herbal formula in this bottle. You got to put some herbs in the, in the liver, in the system to detox that liver and make sure that your liver is functioning optimally, that it is functioning, that it is doing its job of eliminating the toxins in your body. Because if your liver is stagnated, you're not going to have enough energy to be getting up and exercise. Okay. You're going to be feeling lousy because your liver is very important. All of that toxins in the system is going to keep you just feeling, just don't want to get out of bed because you're filled with toxins all day. All right. So you got to keep the liver healthy. Okay. Now, why am I showing you elderberries? Elderberries right there. That's the elderberry extract. Very, very healthy for the immune system. This is filled with a lot of antioxidant, okay? All right, just want to say that. This right here, I want to show you guys. This right here. You see that right there? There's a video of Wendy William. If For those of you who follow me, right? There's a, a video of Wendy William that shows her on an interview and she picked up her leg and she was showing her leg to a couple of people on, on an interview, right? Wendy is struggling with some type of lymphatic illness. You know I have lymphedema. You know what that is, correct? I know. Okay, you don't know lymphedema? All right, I'll show you. Okay, Are you ready? sure. Okay, lymphedema is this. Do you see this right here? Look. Okay. You see? No, look closely. Hold right. up, please. Look. Hold it up. I can't hold it higher. Do you see? Yeah, it's we can see. Yeah. Okay, do you see this? Yes. All right, it's up and down. Okay. Okay, that is, I can only feel maybe 5% of my feet. Wow. Do you understand? Right. Which means... Normally, I would be in a wheelchair. I'm not in a wheelchair. I stand up. How are you feeling, Wendy? I know we saw some video of you out in New York City uh, last night, and you seem to be moving well. I mean, how are you feeling um, just physically? Better than you. <laughs> that's, that's no doubt. My sister, Wendy William, does not have anyone around her that is knowledgeable at all with all the money that she has she doesn't have anyone around her to help her to get a natural herbalist an experienced herbalist that is going to help her to deal with this lymphatic problem that she has going on she needs to drain that lymphatic system she needs an experienced herbalist that is going to put her on a protocol and slowly drain that lymphatic system. Listen, guys, your lymphatic system is like your second immune system. If your lymphatic system is stagnated, it is a slow death. And I'm not exaggerating. If you're having issues with your lymphatic system, it is a slow, slow death okay you're gonna start slowing down and eventually you're gonna stop moving all right so i take care of my lymphatic system okay um this formula right here that i take regularly helps to keep my lymphatic system healthy there's a lot of herbs in there that helps to keep to keep all of the toxins and the waste out of the lymphatic system okay what do we have here and why am I showing you guys this? So let me explain this to you guys. <laughs> so um, this might be a little embarrassing for a lot of sisters, okay? But we're going to have a conversation. I have had personal conversations with a lot of sisters, right? Who are just uh, not in the mood anymore, right? Some of you guys are married, right? And you're just not in the mood, um, 
having a little bit of issues in the bedroom, right? Mm. So the problem is, sisters, is this. Let's have a conversation, sisters. The problem is, if you're not active, right, and you're not eating healthy, and you're overweight, and you're having hormonal problems, nine times out of ten, you're going to have issues in the bedroom, sisters. And a lot of sisters are not active. A lot of sisters are overweight. A lot of sisters are not putting enough nutrients in their system. And a lot of sisters are struggling with hormonal problem. And so all of those things combined is going to have you having issues in the bedroom. Okay, so my advice to you, sisters, is to stop eating the garbage that you're eating. That's number one. Start cleansing your system. Doing some cleanse, some type of cleanse. Don't be afraid to do a cleanse, a detox, okay? This herb that I have in front of me here has a lot of stuff in here that helps to boost a woman's sex drive. It has some herbs in here for women, okay? This is a woman's formula. This is a woman's herbal sexual enhancer, a woman herbal sexual formula okay one of the main herb in here is horny goat weed that's one of the main herb in here there's another herb in here called maca root some of the herb in here are adaptogenic herbs um adaptogenic herbs are herbs that helps your body to manage stress because a lot of you guys are stressed out and that's why you you having issues in the bedroom too if you're stressed you're going to have a problem, a lot of problems in the bedroom. So what this formula does, it helps you to increase sexual arousal, okay? And it also helps you to manage stress. It helps your body to manage stress, all right? And relax. Just relax and enjoy, okay? That's what this stuff does, okay? And this right here is for the brothers, 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 brothers. I try not to leave the brothers out. This right here, my husband takes. Now, he don't need it. <laughs> my husband don't need this, but he takes this because he works out a lot, right? And this right here helps with energy. A lot of you brothers probably didn't know that. And I know a lot of you brothers take this. This is an energy booster. If you're working out and you're taking this, you're going to get an... Oh, that... And the sea moss, huh? Y'all better be careful. Y'all better be careful, brothers. Okay. If you if you're somebody who's in the gym, brothers, and you're taking this right here, right? That right there, and sea moss. Come back and tell me how y'all how, how that work out for y'all. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling y'all. Okay. This, this is called an energy testosterone and libido booster, okay? This has a lot of herbs in here that helps a man to build his sperm count, okay? It helps to build the libido, all right? If you're having issues in the, in the bedroom, and but, but for those of you guys who, who are in the gym, you're lifting weights, you're working out, this is going to help you slowly build muscle, natural muscle, not like what they have in the store, you know, for fake muscle. I don't know what them stuff they have. A libido booster helps you, um, a testosterone booster helps you to build natural muscle. It boosts free testosterone and helps you to build natural muscle naturally if you and, and you you can't be taking this and sitting on the couch brothers okay you can't be taking this and sitting on the couch you got to be taking this and you have to be working out actively you have to be an active person now if you're having issues with libido then you can take it now i the reason i have the zinc right here is because this and this goes together these two things should be taken together these two things right here, testosterone, libido booster, and the zinc should be taken together. They work very well. 
Okay, brothers, so before we get back to our regular scheduled video, I want to have a little bit of conversation with the brothers regarding the testosterone booster and zinc, okay? So I always, always, always recommend that you take your testosterone booster with a liquid zinc or CMOS, right? Keep in mind that CMOS has a lot of zinc. So a lot of brothers who take the testosterone booster, they usually consume CMOS because the CMOS help to supplement that zinc, all right? Testosterone booster herbs uh, and zinc are combined well together and it helps the body to absorb it better and boost your free testosterone better when the two is taken together. So you can choose to take it with a liquid zinc or you can choose to take it with CMOS. Ultimately, the choice is yours, right? Um, CMOS has a lot of natural zinc, okay? And I'm not talking about the Chinese CMOS that you buy for $5 for 10 pounds at the Chinese market. I'm talking about real CMOS, okay? The real CMOS had a, has a lot of natural zinc in it, and you need that um, to help you to absorb your uh, testosterone herb, you know, if you really want to get good result, I suggest you take it with a zinc. And if you choose to take it with a this type of zinc, I suggest that you do a liquid zinc. All right. I'm not going to tell you where to go. You can go wherever you want and get your liquid zinc. I'm only suggesting that you take a liquid zinc. All right. So I just wanted to have that little bit of conversation with you guys before we get back to regular schedule video. So your testosterone obviously is a male hormone, right? A lot of brothers are losing their testosterone because they're having hormonal issues, okay? Brothers are supposed to have deep voice. You're supposed to have beard on your face and hair on your body and, you know, broad shoulders and manliness. That's what, you know, your testosterone is what gives you your manliness. You know what I mean? That deep voice, um, those broad shoulders, you know, that, 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 that big back and, you know, all that masculine manliness that y'all have, which is very sexy for the sisters, okay? Yeah, um, testosterone gives you that. Now, unfortunately, a lot of brothers are losing their testosterone, you know, the testosterone levels are going down because you're not, you, you, you're not giving your body anything to boost it. So, exercise and take this right here with the zinc. And you're going to see a difference in your energy. I'm talking to the brothers, okay? All right. And like I said, this one right here for the sisters, 100% herb. There's nothing else in here but herbs. And the same thing was with this. 100% herb, nothing else. All right? Now, last but not least, you need your fruits and vegetables, guys. You, you got to get rid of the burgers the mac and cheese, the this and that, and just eat some fresh. It's summertime. Look, look, look. It's beautiful outside, isn't it? Look at that. Wonderful, right? It's summertime. It's 80 some degree, 90 something somewhere. Um, Y'all need to eat natural food, man. This is a seeded watermelon that I'm about to, I'm about to go in <laughs> when this video is over, right? But these are the things that I eat when I get up, right? fruits i make my smoothie i make my sea moss you know what i mean I, I might not have them all together but i'm giving you an idea of what i consume okay natural stuff all right so i'm hopefully i was able to answer all of your question guys if you are low on energy man start cleansing start taking something with a lot of iron because nine times out of ten your iron level is very low Sea moss has a lot of that, okay? Magnesium, zinc, selenium, a lot of the natural minerals that your body needs to function naturally. And um, for those of you who are just tuning into this channel, you can find this sea moss in two places. You can find this on jamaicaseamoss.com or you can find it on grassrootbotanicals.com grassroot 
botanicals.com or jamaicacmoss.com. Grassrootbotanicals.com. Um, you can also find these things on there, okay? Your parasite cleanse, all right? Your heart herbal. This is the liquid version, all right, which is way more potent and gets into the bloodstream faster. I know I've said this before, but I have to say it again. Your liquid herbs, the tincture, these are tinctures. These are all tincture, okay? Um, maybe I will explain what a tincture is in another video. I know I have a video on my channel um, where I demonstrate how to make them, all right? For those of you who are new to the channel, you can scroll back down and watch that. So this, these are all herbal tinctures, right? They're strong, they're very potent, and they gets into the bloodstream faster, all right? Okay, there we go. All right, guys, so like I said, you can find these things on grassrootbotanicals.com. All right, I hope I was able to answer all of your questions. If I didn't, you are free to give me a call. A lot of you have called me and I uh, was able, hopefully, to have answered uh, your questions. Um, if you still don't uh, understand or, you know, you're still missing some information from this video, feel free to give me a call, guys. You know where to find me, okay? Y'all know where to find me. Call me up. I will answer your question, okay? All righty. So I will continue to answer your question. I want to thank you guys for, um, you know, all of your questions.